everyone welcome back to another video if you're new my name is emma and i post videos revolving my nursing school experience and my overall college life so we are now on week six already of my semester which is insane and it is tuesday february 20th at 9 30 a.m and i'm about to leave for campus i have an exam for my fundamentals class today this is my second exam for that class and i'm feeling really nervous i think i'm feeling much better this week after last week um if you watch my last video, you know that I was going through it, and it was just not a great week for me. Um, so, so far this week is going much better, and hopefully my exams goes well today. My clinical tomorrow is fine and goes well. I'm so tired. Um, I went to sleep pretty early last night. I went to sleep at 10.30, woke up at 7.15, so I got really good sleep, and I'm trying to, like, even, it feels like no matter how much sleep I get, I'm still exhausted the next day i think it's just like nursing school because every single day in nursing school feels like a week and every week feels like a month here's my fit i just have my um nursing sweatshirt that i got made from etsy and my uh what do you call these flare leggings and just my hokas because comfy day so yesterday i had a health assessment and we talked about the gi system and assessing the abdomen and things like that and then we went into the lab at the second half of class to practice on each other. And I really like that about health assessment now because like since week five, we started going into the lab. So we can apply what we just learned because now that our eight hour labs are over, that's like our lab for the semester, if that makes sense, like for the rest of the semester. So my clinical schedule did change a little bit. They did add two clinicals for me at the end of the semester. So now I don't finish until May 1st. I have the same amount of clinicals as everyone else does. So that's why I can't be too upset. And I do get two weeks. They did add a week break for me. So now week 13, I don't have clinical. Still, I'm not sure how I'm gonna make up those lost hours um, from last week. I'm gonna have to figure that out, unfortunately, but hopefully it works out. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did get my health assessment grade back for my last exam that I took last week for that class and I got an 88. So I'm really happy. It took a whole week for the grades to come out. So that's why I was kind of worried. I'm really glad that an 88 is what I got because I felt not the best about that exam. Um, I think I mentioned that after I took it last week, I was feeling like it wasn't my best performance on an exam, um, but it was one of the higher exam scores that I've gotten this semester. It was about the cardiovascular and respiratory assessment. So it was rather tricky, but really glad about that score. And now I just have to do well on this exam today. I have, you know, my next health assessment exam and my farm exam next week. So it's just back to back, it's never ending. Okay, it is much later in the day, of course. It is 6.45 and I just got back to my apartment. So I had my exam and I passed. I got an 83, which I'm extremely excited about and happy because like I said before, those exams are really hard and the last one I did fail. So my grade was much better this time and I'm really happy about that. And the exam itself was much easier and easier to understand. And then I had farm and we talked about what's gonna be on the exam next week and we learned about new stuff too, so. It was overall a really good day. I'm really tired, but my friends are coming over and we're gonna have dinner together. Um, so that's nice, I'm excited. Um, that'll be a good way to kind of like decompress after today and clear my mind before I have clinical tomorrow. As I stated in my last video, my clinical was cut like eight hours short because of the whole miscommunication thing between my hospital and the school. So I got an email from my instructor saying that our clinicals at the hospital from the rest of the semester are gonna be an hour and a half longer so 11 and a half hour clinicals so that's gonna be kind of rough um but we have to make up the hour somehow good morning it is 5 30 a.m and i'm about to leave for my clinical um this is my first actual clinical and we're going to be there the whole time um 11 and a half hours because as i mentioned last night they added an hour and a half to the remainder of my hospital clinicals because of the mix-up last week. Hopefully a good day. Um, I'm excited. I'm feeling pretty ready. I'm feeling good. And we're gonna have a good day. I'm really hoping this day goes well and that I don't get too tired. Because I got good sleep last night, I took half a melatonin, so, cause I knew I needed to knock out last night. So let's go to our clinical. I just got to the hospital and it's um, 6.08 and I'm going to go in at 6.15 because I have like a five minute walk to the hospital from the parking garage and I'm really nervous. I'm really 
excited though. So wish me luck. I will see you on the other side. Okay, so I finished my clinical. It is 3.40 and my instructor let us out early, which is awesome because we don't have to stay until six like expected, but I had the best day. I learned so much stuff. I can't even tell you like it was seriously the most beneficial clinical I could have possibly had. I got to see so much. Um, I saw a Foley catheter insertion. I saw someone central line being taken out, which was really cool. Three-way catheter, which was really cool as well. And my patient that I was assigned was super awesome. He was so great and very helpful. And I learned a lot from him today. And it was really awesome. I did my vital signs on him and um, pain assessment. And I got to see a lot of nurses perform a lot of cool things. And it was overall such a great day and no passing out today which is great. I was really worried about that, but I did not pass out. I was able to talk myself down whenever I kind of felt that feeling, like that nauseating feeling. So I'm very happy with how my clinical went today. It was 6.30 to three. So perfect, um, not too long. And I just loved seeing how everything is ran in the hospital and everyone playing their roles, like the doctors. I didn't get to talk to any doctors today, but I did see a few walking in the hallway, but you know, the nurses run the show, so saw a lot of nurses today yeah my group is awesome we got really close today we really bonded and it was just such a fun day so um i did just get back to my apartment and i picked up my package i ordered a new scrub jacket so i have to get the patch sewn on but i'm gonna shower i'm gonna take my hospital clothes off and shower and start i'm probably gonna relax for a little bit and then i'm gonna start studying um for my exams next week and doing the rest of my assignments for this week but we got to look at the patient charts for our patient and it was really interesting to see everything um like their vital signs and I just like I was able to recall like oh that's because of this and this is because of this and we saw their medications they're on and oh I know like this medication does this 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 you know so it was really cool and it was just seriously an amazing day just got back to my apartment I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my bag and my shoes before I shower because gotta keep everything clean. I'm gonna wipe down the bottom because, you know, I touched the floor of the locker room. Clean, free of that hospital bacteria. I'm gonna wipe down my shoes as well. Yuck. So I got all clean and everything and showered and I had a bit of a snack. I just had some almond butter and a banana. Um, I'm, oh my earrings messed up. I'm really not that hungry. I'm honestly just tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap since I been up since 4 a.m. so I won't I feel like I won't get any good homework or studying done if I don't rest for a little bit so I'm gonna take a quick nap and then start my homework. I'm gonna be studying a little bit for my pharmacology exam. Um, the study guide was released so I'm gonna go off of that and make my study guides for each chapter like I did last time on my iPad because that really helped. It was almost like a map like a concept map so I kind of like was able to tie everything together and it really helped me remember things so I'm gonna do that again for this exam and we're gonna go ahead and start sitting studying done and um I did two study guides for my farm exam next week I just did one for the general information about antibiotics and then one for allergies and I'm gonna do so much studying tomorrow because I have all day tomorrow is my only free day and I got a study room at the library at my school so I'm gonna use that and then I have two hours in the study room that's the only reservation time I could get because it's always booked but 
go in there and then after that I'm just gonna study in the general part of the library when I get kicked out of the room so we're gonna have a great great efficient study day tomorrow but I'm about to make dinner watch some Grey's Anatomy and just relax for the rest of the evening so it is now 11 o'clock and I'm going to sleep I'm gonna wake up at 7 tomorrow morning and have a good breakfast and everything and prepare for a very productive study day and we're gonna have a great day we're gonna get so much done and I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow a mouthwash I will see you guys in the morning good morning it is now the next day it is 7 58 and I decided to stay in bed for a little bit this morning so I can relax because I'm still pretty tired after yesterday but I am making my breakfast. I'm gonna have avocado toast with an egg. And today I have something very exciting to share. So I wanna give a huge thank you to Javi Coffee for working with me on today's video. Well, I can't have coffee when I'm at clinical, when I have class, um, because if I get too nervous or too anxious about something, my heart will be out of control. So we don't want that to happen. So this will be perfect for the days that I do not have class, like today. I don't really drink cold coffee that often, but I am going to try it um, as a cold coffee this morning because you can use it as both. You can use it as hot and cold coffee. The instructions seem super easy. They say that you just put it um, in hot or cold water and go from there. You add however much you want. Um, so I'm probably going to add like two teaspoons. I'm probably gonna add like two teaspoons of it into some cold water and make some yummy iced coffee without the hard work. So I'm gonna put some water in here because I'm gonna use water as the base. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll add like a little bit. Oh, okay. That's almost two teaspoons. It just looks like it's gonna be very strong. I'm gonna grab a straw and then just mix it all together with the water flip my egg okay so that is without the creamer so I'm gonna add some of my oat milk planet oat caramel creamer for iced coffee um, I always just make it the night before and then put it in the fridge overnight and that's such a hassle so if this is good then that will literally save me so much time this looks like the coffee I make when I make my own coffee so let's give it a try Hmm, that's really good. That's actually really good. This is super easy and literally took me less than five minutes. And this is actually really good. So I'm very impressed by this. This will now be my go-to when I wanna have iced coffee and don't feel like making it the night before. So you guys can use my discount code Emma67210 to get 20% off of your Jobby Coffee orders. They have so many different flavors, so there's something for everyone. We'll also link that in the description down below. So again, thank you so, so much to Jobby Coffee for working with me and now let's continue with the video. This Sol de Janeiro scent is insane like this might be better than the original in my opinion so i'm leaving for campus i'm wearing my taylor swift hoodie that i got ink all over because i washed my scrub jacket with my pen in it last week and my brandy sweatpants and my white converse i am already pretty late to my study room so hopefully no one's in there because it's so awkward having to like kick someone out i just got to my study room and i'm gonna use the big whiteboard to study for my pharmacology exam and i'm really excited because this room is so nice let me show you so here's the big whiteboard and then the table. It's a nice window.
but no one's come yet but i am gonna leave now because i hate getting kicked out but i did write a lot on the whiteboard and i got a lot of good studying done and i ate some lunch so now let's go find a seat somewhere else okay so i'm back in my apartment it is 302 and i'm about to go grocery shopping i'm gonna go buy trader joe's and ulta because i need mouthwash um i'm looking for this fenty beauty bronzer in my shade i can never find it i've been looking every single time i go buy a sephora or an ulta i always go in to look for it and i can never find my shade so hopefully it's there today and i need new moisturizer as well and then trader joe's i just need stuff for next week and the weekend because i have no food like my fridge is pretty much empty so at the library i studied farm for three and a half hours which was awesome and then i did my bioethics for this week which is also great so that's one less thing to worry about so i'm really happy and very satisfied with how much work i got done today and when i get back from the grocery store i'm gonna do more studying of course um i need to study for my health assessment exam as well i just got back to my apartment i'm gonna show you guys what i got so i went to trader joe's of course but before that i went to ulta and i went to the one that's 20 minutes away because the one that's near me has nothing ever so i went to the one that's 20 minutes away and i got everything i needed so i'm gonna show you what i got from ulta first i got some more mouthwash i really like this brand of mouthwash um the Thera Breath. I got the whitening one though, because it's the only one they had. I wanted the pink one, but this one will do. And then I got my, you know, regular moisturizer, my First Aid Beauty Oil Control Moisturizer. And then finally, after months of looking at every Sephora, every Ulta, I could never find my Fenty Beauty Bronzer shade. Guess what? They had one left in my shade and I could not be more happy about it. So I'm really happy. Um, that I finally found it. My total for those three things was $90. The bronzer was $35. So $36, $35, $13. What can I say? That's the price of beauty, right? From Trader Joe's, um, I just got more eucalyptus for my shower, some spinach, and some blue bees, protein granola, avos, two uh, barbells protein bars because when I'm like at clinical or at class until seven on Tuesdays, I need a good pick me up like that in class. Bananas, I could not find the regular bananas. I could only find the organic, but then as, as soon as I was leaving, I saw the regular and I was like. And then I got some sliced white mushrooms, some of my favorite strawberry mochi, some of my favorite rosemary almonds, got some broccoli florets, and I got three of my favorite Sumo oranges, the massive ones, they're so good. And I got some hummus that I like, my favorite hummus. I'm gonna try and like it again because for a couple weeks I've been grossed out by my regular bell peppers and hummus that I have for lunch every day. So I need to get back into it because it was filling, it's good for you, lots of fiber. I need to start eating it again. More dates, and that's it. So I have not used this bronzer since high school because I haven't found it slash bought it in store. Um, and I just was using another one for a long time and it did not match my face. I had to like dilute it by like rubbing it on my hand, like the brush before even putting it on just so I can get as much of it off as I can. It just didn't really work. So, and I was using that for a long time, but I'm so glad I found this. But the last time I had this, I was at a cheer competition, um, my sophomore year, it was an all-star competition and I was getting ready in the bathroom of my hotel room and I dropped it and it shattered. I was devastated because it was my favorite bronzer and now I have another one and I'm so happy. So beautiful. She is beauty, she is grace. I did my EAQ for farm and now I'm studying for health assessment and it is 9.30 and I'm gonna study for another 20 minutes and then I'm gonna get ready for bed because I work tomorrow at 10 and then I have a meeting for my school's student nurses association um, at 5.30 over Zoom. So, and then when I get back, I'm gonna do more studying. And then Saturday, Will's gonna come stay with me, so I'm really excited. But yeah, right now I'm just gonna do some more studying for health assessment. So I started studying my notes for um, the peripheral vascular and lymphatic system that's gonna be on my exam on Monday. The study guide was not released yet, so um, I didn't go through the whole thing because it's already 10 p.m. But once the study guide's released, that's when I'll be able to get a real focus on the PowerPoints, or sorry, my notes, because without the study guide, I don't even know what I really need to know. But yeah, I kind of just went through and used the textbook as a reference and added stuff from the textbook. I think this was pretty efficient studying. Um, even though it was only for 30 minutes, I feel like I retained a good amount of information. So um, as I'm going through 
everything, studying all my stuff. Um, I've read a lot about cranial nerves, which we have to learn this semester for head to toe assessment. Something I think is really interesting is um, some of the drugs that I'm studying for my next exam for farm um, are autotoxic, so they affect cranial nerve eight, I believe, and they can cause permanent loss of hearing, which is so crazy. Like vancomycin, if you administer it too fast, you can lose your hearing completely when given IV. It has to be over a course of 60 to 90 minutes. Pretty sure. Yeah, 60 to 90 minutes. So I'm looking through my planner and everything, and it looks like the week that I don't have clinical, um, so week 13 is the week of my head-to-toe checkoff and my dosage calculation exam. So that's actually perfect that I don't have clinical that week because it's going to be a very kind of stressful week with um, those two very high stakes exams, um, especially the head to toe. Because the head to toe check off, they give us a paper of everything that we need to do and it's very long. Two pages, like two sides, and everything goes into such depth. So I'm really nervous. It's on April 15th. We've only done cardio, respiratory, and abdominal exams so far. And that's it. Okay, it is now the next day, 5.45 p.m. And I got back from work a little bit ago. I worked 10 to 4 today and I just had a meeting for my student nurses association for my school. Um, so I have studying to do tonight, of course. I have to study for my health assessment exam and my farm exam. And I got some sushi from Harris Teeter for dinner. So I'm going to have that soon. And I'm excited because it's $5 Sushi Friday at Harris Teeter. So that's really fun. I'm on a mission to hopefully gain some weight um, because, you know, um, it's important to stay healthy. So um, that's why I got the sushi because it's nice and substantial. It'll keep me full, has lots of like good carbs, protein, stuff like that. Because I've been struggling with my appetite recently with the stress that I've been dealing with, so. Since I did just go back from work, I'm gonna relax for a little bit and then I'm gonna get back into studying. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube because I love watching nursing stuff on YouTube. Um, and then I'm gonna um, probably have some dinner first and then get into studying. Hello everyone, it is now Sunday, um, February 25th at 7.43 a.m. and I just dropped off Will at his car so he can go to work. Um, he stayed with me last night and it was really nice to have him here. Yesterday I worked from 10 to 4 and when I got back I did some studying for um, health assessment because I have my exam tomorrow and then I had Will come over. We just got dinner from a restaurant near us. We just took it out and brought it here um, so that was really nice. I worked 10 to 4 again today. Um, but I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching another video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching another week in my life of a nursing student. Going through clinical and taking all these hard classes and trying to figure out her way through day by day. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming along with me with this journey. So again, thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you next time.